Kids at the Canterbury Street School were in for a treat this morning. Local dentist Dr. Blaze donated gloves to ensure that the kids are nice and warm this winter season. Students at the Canterbury School received a visit from a local dentist and elected leaders who came bearing gifts. Principal Mary Seeley says the gifts were much appreciated. We try to have outdoor recess as much as possible. So with the cold air, exposed skin is, is um, you know, uh, exposed and sensitive to the cold. And we don't want anybody to have frostbite. Um, and so we, we like to make sure that uh, the kids are bundled up. Nurse A. Brown of UMass Memorial Medical Center has been working as a pediatric nurse for seven years. She says as the temperatures drop, it's the responsibility of parents to make sure their children are clothed appropriately. You can't tell your kids and say, if you get cold, you come in. The kids will never come in because they're going to forget that they are cold because they're so numb. So it's for the parents just to dress them warm and then keep an eye on them and then restrict the playtime outside. Brown says children's bodies are more susceptible to the cold. Their bodies lose heat faster. Not being bundled up properly can lead to serious health effects. So if you catch a cold, it turn, the cold symptom usually lasts a long time. And then if you don't treat it, then they usually turn into pneumonia. And we don't want kids to get pneumonia. The children at the Canterbury School were taught what could happen if they don't stay warm. If you warm. don't have mittens or gloves, what happens to your hands? What happens to your hands? Many say they can't wait to use their new gloves. You're going to build a snowman. These are really, like, really comfortable. And so I can just go outside, build some snowballs, and play with my friends. Now the principal says that the gloves were a perfect gift because they often do find kids who aren't in proper winter attire. She says that they sometimes do seek out donations. And I hope they have a great winter season with their new gloves. Back to you. That's right, Trisha. Those gloves certainly come in handy this time of year.